Hello, I'm Austin with COG Connected. Recently, I decided to go back and replay Horizon Zero Dawn with its sequel coming out just next month. And it holds up exactly as well as I remember it. It is an absolute masterpiece that I can't recommend enough. It is also a game that Ubisoft could learn a lot from. I don't really enjoy Ubisoft games or most open world games these days. I enjoy them when they take from the Elder Scrolls and Fallout style with an actual open world to explore with character driven quests with actual storylines, but most of them take from Assassin's Creed, which is just icons of the game. First, let's take a look exactly what makes a Ubisoft game and what I don't like about them. My major issue with Ubisoft games is that they never, ever end. The heat death of the universe will happen before you beat a Ubisoft game. Oh, and you want to actually complete one? Have fun spending a billion hours collecting absolutely useless stuff, like feathers. This is compounded further by the fact that they never just have one useless collectible, each Ubisoft game has to have like 10 different collectibles that you have to waste your time gathering. Another issue I have with Ubisoft games is the map size. Each game just gets bigger and bigger but they just feel emptier and emptier. Ubisoft never learned that size doesn't matter, it's all how you use it. What? Ubisoft insists on having the largest maps they can create, but they consistently fail to actually fill these worlds with anything interesting. Instead of being maps worth exploring, they are maps where you just run from one icon to another. The large maps just feel like filler to make you waste your time as you run from one icon to another. If I wanted to waste time, I'd just sit in the dark and question all of my life choices. No, I play video games to escape from having to do that. Ubisoft also had all their open world games have very simple combat. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is very basic hack and slash combat. It isn't terrible, but it just compounds the repetitiveness of the rest of the game. But that's enough negativity. For now. I mainly want to talk about Horizon Zero Dawn and just how good it is despite being quite similar to a typical Ubisoft open world game. If you don't play it and only looked at it, you could be mistaken for thinking it is another Ubisoft game. You'd be wrong, however, as Horizon Zero Dawn has robot dinosaurs. Does Assassin's Creed or Far Cry have robot dinosaurs? I think not. Okay, so the robot dinosaurs are actually really important in making Horizon Zero Dawn stick out. Besides being absolutely awesome by combining two things everybody likes in robots and dinosaurs, they are engaging to fight. These aren't traditional enemies in Far Cry where you just shoot them and move on. Each creature has strengths and weaknesses and armor covering some of those weaknesses, so you have to plan out exactly how you want to take these creatures down. You can focus fire on a creature's weapon, knock it off, and then use it for yourself. Or maybe you don't want to risk moving slow while using the heavier weapon. Well, you can utilize your agility to pick off other sensitive parts. Perhaps switch to elemental arrows to target a weak point to cause an elemental explosion to deal big damage. The choice is yours. All of these creatures are engaging to fight, and it never becomes stales. Except for glint hawks. Glint hawks make me sad. Flying around like they own the place. What? You think you're better than me? Well, you are. It also helps that there is a large variety of robot dinosaurs to take down, from small deer-like creatures to giant sandworms straight out of Dune, Horizon Zero Dawn is constantly throwing new enemies at you. This goes a long way to keeping you on your toes. You never know just what combination of machines and humans you may need to fight. Besides robot creatures, you will fight human enemies that are the typical cannon fodder seen in Far Cry. You shoot them, they die. They are easily the weakest part of the game, and are most reminiscent of a Ubisoft production. They just lack the same depth and excitement as the machines. If you had to pick off their armor by hitting certain spots like with the machines, I think it would be more engaging. As I stand, they are just kind of forgettable. But what am I talking about? This isn't a review of a 5 year old game. This is about what a 5 year old game can teach Ubisoft. So what can Ubisoft learn from Horizon Zero Dawn? Well, they can learn that actually interesting combat goes a long way. They can also learn that sometimes less is more. Horizon Zero Dawn only has six bandit camps. Those bandit camps are also a storyline with one of the more interesting characters in the game. Horizon Zero Dawn only has five towers to unlock. A game like Far Cry 4 had about 17. 
Ubisoft in general went super crazy on the towers until they got bullied enough to finally stop including them. They aren't good. They aren't bad in Horizon Zero Dawn, however because you are solving environmental puzzles to figure out how to climb a large, moving, robot dinosaur. That is always going to be at least a little awesome. It does lose points for making me think, however. With all that said, the main lesson that Ubisoft can learn from Horizon Zero Dawn is that depth is far more important than pure size. Ubisoft games truly are wide as an ocean but deep as a puddle. That kind of design philosophy simply isn't nearly as interesting as what Horizon Zero Dawn offers. Far Cry and Assassin's Creed simply don't need a hundred different side objectives that all play out the same way. Have fewer but more detailed quests and side events will go a long way to making the game feel fresh. If you want it to be a hundred plus hours long, then you better offer consistently compelling content. Ubisoft could also stand to just not make 100 plus hour long games. Go for 40 hours. Horizon Zero Dawn took me around 25 hours to complete story and side quests, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I'm eager to jump back in and play the DLC, and I still have some corrupted machines to destroy. All of this is varied enough that I could easily play it for 40 hours. If you start going above 50 hours, Many gamers are just going to run out of steam. I know I don't have that kind of time to dedicate to just one game anymore. Horizon Zero Dawn took me weeks to beat and there is still more to do. This obsession with being a long game isn't healthy for devs, doesn't benefit gamers, and makes bloated experiences. Horizon Zero Dawn should be viewed as a long game, yet compared to a Ubisoft open world game, it's actually on the shorter end. Ubisoft is incredibly frustrating. They have very talented devs, or at least they used to. They just insist on crippling themselves by homogenizing their games and releasing shallow experiences. I want Ubisoft to do better. Ubisoft is capable of doing better. What about you? Do you think Ubisoft will ever improve its open world content? I admit, I have my doubts. Either way, thank you for watching and subscribe to COD Connected for more gaming content. They're great cities, turned to graves. In their place came new life.